Now I will start preparing the PCB layout. And first of all, we have to prepare the basics. So I will open the project here and uh, it was already prepared at the beginning. So now what I see is a black square. And um, first of all, I would like to set its sizes. Uh, so the, the shape of the PCB. And for that, first I have to define the grid. Uh, zooming in, you will see these uh, white dots which are representing the grid. And um, I would like to set grid in millimeters. So pressing G, letter G once, will open the grid menu. And you can select out of the prepared uh, metric or uh, imperial units. Clicking G again, here you can enter actually any number you want. So I will enter one millimeter. And now all the units are changed to millimeter as well. So what you see here is the head up display showing the current coordinate of your mouse. These are the absolute coordinates and these are the relative ones. And the relative ones show the distance from the last clicked point. So clicking once will reset to zero, moving, clicking, moving, clicking, as you see. Now um, I would like to, sh to draw the shape of the PCB. And um, I can I have to select a proper layer. Now here are the layers. I will show long names for starting. So here you see the layers. There are many of them. Some of them are signal layers, then mechanical and others. And there are so many they actually do not fit the screen. So what I can do, I can click with right, my right hand mouse here and use medium layer names. So now I see shorter names still are quite readable, but they all fit the screen. If you want to even filter them out, you can click here on LS and you can select all layers or maybe just signal layers such as top and bottom or the non-signal layers such as the silk, the solder, the paste layers or maybe mechanical layers. These are the mechanical layers. Now, if I double click, click here, I can actually uh, open the menu with all the layer properties. Now, uh, which layer to use for the PCB shape? Well, you can use mechanical layers, any of the mechanical, or you can use the um, um, non-signal layer called keep out layer. Now, I will just open all layers again. So the keep out layer is actually defining the area in which the tracks and uh, the components can exist. And um, it could be different than the shape of the PCB. Therefore, I would like to, sh to draw the shape of the PCB on mechanical layer. Let's choose mechanical one. So I will use the place line function here. I go somewhere in the, this area, clicking once, it will reset the coordinates. So now when I move my, my, my mouse, I actually see the uh, the distance from the first click. So I will choose the size 30 by 20 millimeters, like that. You see it also that the line has made a, a right angle. Pressing space will actually change the layer. Uh, sorry, change the angle direction and sh clicking shift space will actually change the way the angle is made by uh, from 45 round it back to the 90 degrees sharp edge. Clicking once will fix the first corner. Clicking once again will fix the second corner. And now I can move my mouse again back to the original position. Clicking once, clicking twice, I fixed the line. So when I move away, you still see that it uh, drags. By clicking uh, the right hand button or escape, I will finish placing the line, clicking escape again, I will go out of the line placing function forever. Now that's the shape of the PCB on the mechanical layer. I will now select this and I will go to the design board shape defined from selected objects. Here the board is now defined by this selected object and it's the same as the drawn edge. Now, this is on the mechanical one layer. I will now go to the keep out layer and I will just draw one millimeter smaller square again to define the uh, area in which the tracks and components will be. And uh, I can just 
click here again and since I have already defined the grid of one millimeter it's very easy to me to draw again this area and that's the keep out now um, I have prepared everything for this PCB to start placing the components and routing.